Hey y'all, I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. So let's see what happens. Hey y'all. I'm not sure if this, if I've got it working, but we will see in just a few minutes. You see me, Christine? Yay, it's working. So you're going to have to, I'm going to have to learn that there's a big lag, huh? I didn't know there was that much lag on there. And I'm trying to read the comments down here. I probably should put the comments up so I don't have to look down, but we'll see what happens. Is it always so much of a big lag, Christine? I'm not really sure. I know when we did Patrick's, there was what, like a 10 second lag, um, which was confusing enough. So, oh my goodness. I don't know about y'all, but I'm super nervous and I'm not one to get nervous very much. So we'll see what happens. I just wanted to make sure that it was working. And y'all let me know if you're on here so that I can say, hey, because it's a really big lag. I'm going to have to get used to that, but need lots of practice. And I'm literally talking to myself. This is so crazy. <laughs> Oh, hey, RV Vagabond Travels. Thanks for coming and thanks for um, saying that. I am super nervous and I'm not one to be nervous, but there's my mama. So it's all good now. My mama's here. And Miss Martha is here. We went shopping together Saturday and that was so much fun. If you have never been to Round Top, Texas, um, I highly recommend that you take the truck out there. Um, it's about, I think it was a little over an hour for us, about an hour and 30 minutes for us to get there. But we only did a very small portion of it and it was just massive. <laughs> I know I'm always talking to myself, Martha. I was saying how many good things that we found at the um, at the Round Top. And we only did that one. I cannot imagine all those other ones that were out there. It is literally you're going to need to um, rent a space or take a trailer or a hotel room or something like that. So, all right. I'm going to wait for just a few more people. I want to be conscious of the time only because, um, and I have the do not disturb on, but I want to make sure that that is working, but it doesn't always work because I know that there's a couple of live sales tonight. So I want to um, be mindful of all of that. Hey, Nate. Thank you so much for coming, Nate. I'm excited to see you. So what are you guys doing? I know my dad said that he is going to um, try to watch later because he cooks at six. So I'm hoping that um, his wife will get him on 
and so he can listen while he cooks. Um, and I know right now for it's five o'clock, Lovey will be coming home soon. So, and people are eating dinner, but I really appreciate you guys coming out for my very first live haul. It's really a dry run, a practice run, if you will, because I'm really hoping that Miss Martha and Tammy, uh, Martha from Vintage Conversation and Tammy from Vintage Uprising Texas, look Martha, I got it right, um, will be joining me for a live haul to show you some of the cool things that we found on our trip this past weekend. Yes, mom, five o'clock, happy hour. <laughs> Gotta get it in, huh? Nate, Bella Rose is my mom. So um, I'm glad that she came. I'm not gonna, I don't do really well with all this, this lag, so. I'm just want to get into the hall and show you all the cool stuff that um, I got. So in mom side street market is Christine, the one that you watch um, that has saved me and taught me how to do YouTube. So I want to give a shout out to Christine because just five seconds ago, she was answering Instagram messages um, for me to uh, get this actually going. I kept saying, I don't see the same things that everybody else is seeing. So I was really nervous about that. And um, mom, vintage conversation is Martha. I say Miss Martha, but it's Martha. And she is one of the ladies that went shopping with me at Round Top. So now that y'all know everybody. Yes, she watched Side Street Market earlier today. <laughs> and Christine just put out a new haul. Uh, just a few minutes ago. So um, I watched that because you went to a, like an epic Goodwill haul and you got a whole bin full of figurines for like 10 bucks. And that was really, really good. So, all right, y'all, I want to go ahead and get started. Hey, Tracy, Tracy Joyner, thank you for coming. And look, there's Katie with Vintage and Vinyl. Katie just had her first live sale and she did awesome. She was a total pro. Like she wasn't nervous. She did great. She had the cutest little cards. I mean, Katie, you just blew it out of the park. So congrats to you. You did an awesome job. Um, so I'm really excited to see everybody <clears throat> today. The Goodwill haul that I'm going to share with you guys is actually from September the 7th. Um, I told you I had a bunch hoarded up in the corner over here and I'm slowly but surely working through those. So um, this is going to be a, a good, a good little haul. I didn't get very many things. There's only like 15 or 20 things here, but I got some big pieces that I'm going to be painting and things like that. So I want to show those to you. And there's a couple of pieces I want to know if you really think um, that I should even paint. I'm not really sure. Um, oh, good. Debbie M is Vagabond, RV Vagabond Travels. That's like my mom and I's deal. We, we want a, a glamper. We want to even get an RV and glamp it up. And so we can just go where we want to go. Right, mom? We can just do whatever we want. I know it's not hoarding if it's a collection. It's not hoarding if your stuff is good, Christine. So just remember that. Um I haven't watched Joni, Katie, so I'll need to find out one of those. No, I'm not a hoarder, Mom. <laughs> ah, jeez. Okay, so back to my Goodwill haul. Here's my receipt. I always show you um, the receipt, and I only spent like $40 this particular day, and it was, of course, a Monday because, you know, I'm all, I'm, I'm thrifty. I only thrift on Mondays at Goodwill because of the 75% off. Um, and so I got, it only looks like I got about four or five things that were the blue tag items. So I want to show you what I got. So I'm going to start with the big things because there's just a couple of things. I want to start with the chicken that you saw in my thumbnail. He's probably like my favorite thing. He's a ginormous chicken. 
he's metal and um he has a little bit of a grainy texture to him but look how pretty he is now he's already green and i probably will do like a chalk paint over him just to match the um farmhouse aesthetic that's big right now and so when i do that i'm going to um do a wet distress and by that what i mean is i paint it and before the paint actually cures i take a damp cloth and rub it back on the details and i think that's going to be beautiful so it allows some of that paint um to come back through so vintage conversation we're all enablers and so i am so excited about this chicken y'all i don't even do roosters and chickens but um, I think it will do very well at the upcoming market that I have. So I did pay what I consider up for that. That's what people will say. Yes, we are. Um, we're from South Carolina and we are the Gamecock State. So University of South Carolina is the fighting Gamecock. So that's probably why I'm drawn to it. But um, I don't have roosters and chicken, that farmhouse aesthetic in my home, but I know that other people do like it. So when I paint this up, um, I think it'll do well in my booth. I got another little basket and mainly I got this basket simply because of the handles. If you can see those little porcelain handles there, they're not blue bonnets, but they kind of look like blue bonnets. And then it has just a little white basket. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to do anything to this basket or if I'm just going to use it um, for display and then everything um, will have a tag on it. Nate, it's metal. That um, chicken rooster something, <laughs> that feathered fowl is metal. So, yeah, he and he's not, he's hollow but he is metal and I think that my paint will paint on anything. I've painted mirrors and glass and um, wood, metal. I've painted brass. I know people are gonna freak out because I painted brass, but I did. Um, they couldn't be cleaned. I couldn't get them clean. But I like this basket too and it was only 99 cents. So I mainly got it because it had the really cool handles. Um, there you go. Looky loos are perfect for vagabond travels. This is the next piece. It is really super big. And this is already a great color and I may do nothing to it y'all, but it was a blue tag and it was $7.99. So I got it at 75% off. It already has the hanging wire on the back. Um, and it looks like it was a mold. It is a heavy, heavy plastic, but I wanted to show you the details in this. It's just a decorative piece. Um, but it has no damage whatsoever to it and it's pretty big. Um, so I don't know that I'm going to do anything to it other than just simply flip it, resell it. Um, but it's a really great piece. If I did anything, it would maybe just dry brush some antiquing on it, but I really don't know if I'm going to do that either. All right, let me catch up with the chat. Um, yeah, these are really cool, Miss Martha. Um, a little bit bigger. Yes, Tracy, I did love Round Top. It was my first time going. Now, I've lived here 20 years, um, and I've never been. So, and it does look like an old ceiling tile. It's not tin. It is plastic, um, but it also has fruit and flowers on it as well. Um, it is a lot of decor, but it wasn't $7.99. It was 75% off of $7.99. So it was a great find. Okay, so the next pieces is a set, y'all. And I need your help in knowing what you would do because if it's wood to me, I'm probably going to paint it. Um, it's three pieces and I want to show you. I got all three of these wooden trays. And they're gradual sizes and they all have feet on them, as you can see. Now, let me show you the um, painting on there. I'm going to show you up close. All of them have the same design. And all of them have the little wooden feet. So there's the small one. 
And um, then there's the medium sized one. And then there's this ginormous one. So, okay, let's weigh in. Do I paint them or do I not paint them? They were, the largest one was $2.99. Um, then the medium sized one, like the three, three bears was also two ninety nine, And then the big one was a dollar 99. Now they are made in China. So that's not like they're vintage or anything like that. They are made in China decorative. Um, and it does say not for food use, food consumption from this vessel may be harmful. Ah, so I don't know if, I mean, I'm sure they need to be cleaned up because I have not cleaned them up at all. Now, the only reason that I thought I may paint them is if you notice right here and right here in this medium sized one, there is some divots in what looks like, I don't know that they're even hand painted but it looks like there's some divots in it. So I thought, hey, Norma Jean plus one, is it Miss Norma Jean or Heather? Um, and the, the little one is cool. It doesn't have any damage on it or anything. Um, the big one is fine. It's just dirty, but I got all three of these for what? Six, seven, eight dollars. Um, but because this one did have some damage on it, right here. That's why I thought maybe painting them. I do know that I could probably paint these with that farmhouse white and put a, um, like a farm fresh or fresh eggs or some farm animal stencils in black on these and they would do very well. Or I could just paint them all differently. Um, I'm a big fan of like a blue or a teal color white would be a great color um right now i have a beautiful red that um would be beautiful i mean if we painted this red and put a little tabletop tree on that y'all that would be so cute mom like in the middle of the of the kitchen that big kitchen table that would be so pretty and it already has the feet so that's great hey tippy winks vintage that's christy garza thank you for coming christy um, Y'all, she has, I'm so excited to see her video. She has a new YouTube channel. If you have a YouTube channel or an upcoming live sale or something going on, drop it in the comments, y'all, because I'm a firm believer and there's enough sunshine for everybody. I cheer for everybody. So if you've got a new channel, promote your channel. Uh, now's the time. I know a lot of these ladies and gentlemen have channels and we are kind of the smaller channels. So um, get your name out there and let's start letting people watch. But I think I'm still thinking about this. Um, Nate says it would depend on how much you could sell them for as is compared to what you think you could. I really honestly think, Nate, that in this area, in my area and Tracy, you tell me what you think too, that um, I think painted. I think for me, the I might leave maybe one, but I think in my area painted um, with that farmhouse look, a uh, little bit of distress just to bring back the edges a little bit. But how great is that that they have feet? So y'all, that was a really good deal. Um, live Halloween party on your YouTube channel tomorrow. What? Do we dress up, Katie, and just show up? I mean, you can't see us, but we could still, um, we could still do it. Um, okay, Nate, I agree. I think paint them, but I'm a sucker for painting everything. So uh, make sure you put your channels in and any live sales or upcoming events. And I know Katie has um, where she's re I just got in on the tail end of this, Katie. So I know that um, you like do a reading for this book that you're in. And Katie has the best voice. She has a great radio voice. So and I love to watch Miss Norma Jean um, thrift. She's got the greatest stuff in there. So let me get through the rest of this real quick because I don't want to hold everybody up, but I'm so excited that y'all um, 
are, are here today. Norma Jean, you're coming to visit Texas. That'll be fun. Um, yes, farmhouse is a thing. Um, Tippy, oh, y'all got to see Tippy. That's uh, Christy's little, it's a, a Pomeranian. Am I saying that right? Is that the one that, um, is that the type of dog that Tippy is? Super cute. So let me, I'm getting sidetracked. Now I see what they talk about getting sidetracked with the chat. But I normally don't pick up um, bells, but I did pick up this one. Oh, your family is in Waco. Cool. But look at this little bell. I got to find my camera on this one. But it's just a little angel. She does have her wings on the back. It's great colors. Um, does work. It's a little pottery. Um, has a little pottery ringer in there. But she was super cute. And I think I only paid 79 cents for her. So she was darling. The other thing that I got was a pair. Now, these were $1.99 with 75% off. These are little ballet slippers. They're, they were, of course, I think that they were hand-painted and glazed, probably um, just a novice piece, but you can tell where they were sitting on the, the piece to be glazed, the, the machine to be glazed. But I even thought, as Misty would say, that you could put air plants or something in there and those would be cute. Or if you have a, a daughter or a granddaughter who was a ballerina, then those would be cute to decorate a room for those. And y'all, they were 75% off of $1.99. So I just had to pick those up. The next thing that I got was $1.99 with a red tag. And um, it's a Selco, not Seiko, but a Selco clock. And um, I did look them up a little bit. It, uh, if this is the right way, let me see. It says United States of America 20D, and it opens like this. And then it has the clock. It's an alarm clock. It was made in Hong Kong, and it does say Selco, S-E-L-C-O. So if you know anything about it, it's pretty heavy. Um, I, what I saw them going for was anything from 10 to $20. I paid $1.99 for it, but I thought it was um, a really nice clock. It's got a lot of weight to it. Um, I did not know the brand. It is an alarm clock, but it was made in Hong Kong. So I think that is dates it just a little bit, right? You guys tell me. Um, but here's the back of it as well. And it does say over here, made in Hong Kong. But let me give you a close up of if you can see it without the glare. But I thought even for, um, even for just a display at 4th of July time or anything like that, that would be really cool too. Um, somebody mentioned me, I don't do Etsy or eBay yet, but I may try to learn. I mean, there's only so much that I can learn y'all at one time. So I don't know that much about it, but it has got some weight to it. Um, I picked up some salt and pepper shakers. Now, Martha was the queen of salt and pepper shakers at Round Top. I missed half of all that she found. Um, I guess I was, wasn't paying attention, nothing new there. But these are two, um, these are two cac cacti, more than one cactus, cacti. I think that's how you say it. But they each have a little flower. So there's this one, gotta show you the thing that just has the one side piece and this one that has the two side piece. The bonus is that they were only 99 cents for the set, um, but they are full of salt and pepper. So when I went to turn them over, it does say that they're made in Japan. Um, you can barely see that, that black writing says made in Japan. And they're of course um, more modern, but I thought they were cute, especially in Texas. So I picked those up as well. Let's see, just a few more things. This piece I got for 79 cents, and I think it is a sugar packet holder. It is hand painted, and it's initialed on the bottom, MMA 1980. Um, but you can actually feel the paint on this. 
but it was only 79 cents and um and i liked it but i do think it's for sugar is that right y'all that it this is would be to hold sugar packets either way i think it's pretty and it is got some beautiful purple flowers in that yeah i think those would be um per the cactus would be pretty perfect for texas as well i've got a couple of other things mom i can't even say that word Sagura. so i can't say that so i tried resting the spoon in the middle but my even my old silverware is too thick um even on the side like half of the spoon hangs off i do have a vintage spoon rest but it doesn't have this big of a deep divot there um so I, no it's look y'all these are my cheaters and don't say anything because i sometimes have to wear my cheaters on top of my glasses until i get new ones but see it doesn't fit so that, that's the reason the only reason that i thought maybe a sugar packet but i liked it nonetheless um let's see what else um tracy you need those salt and pepper shakers well girlfriend we can get them to you um, let's see i got a I believe it's in Orbit Stoneware. It's made in Japan. I'll show you the bottom first. And then it's a per little personal creamer. So my new thing is trying to figure out if it's a syrup or a creamer. And one of the things that I read said when they are the same shape the whole way, it's more of a creamer. Now. I read it on the internet, so I don't know how. I guess the only way to really know is to ask um, George. <laughs> We'd have to ask George the Antique Nomad because he knows everything. But I think this is a little personal creamer. It's in great shape. It's got a beautiful blue color on the bottom. Um, and again, it's a stoneware. And I only paid 99 cents for it. So that was a good deal. Let's see. Oh, I got three vintage baby planters. And um, based on the weight and the sticker on the bottom, because let's not pretend that I really know. Um, I know, Katie, he does know everything. That I was so jealous when um, Stephanie got to go thrifting with him. I mean, how cool would that be? Hey, lovey. Lovey's home, y'all. Say hey, lovey. <laughs> uh, Miss Martha met lovey. She was like, can I call you lovey? And he was like, no. <laughs> he said he can call her anything. Um, but these are made in Japan and there's three baby planters. This one is the little bassinet. Oh, Tracy, maybe toothpicks. Maybe. You're right. Miss Martha and everybody said, hey, lovey. <laughs> He's chuckling. So this is the little bassinet. And so there is a sticker on the bottom. I don't know if y'all are, let me, first of all, let's get it to where you could read it if it would focus. But it does say Japan right down here. And it says Giftware Company. And it is the last name, uh, Nancy Poo, P-E-W, Poo? Not sure, but it says Japan. But here's the bottom. They were in perfect condition, and I only paid uh, $1.99 for each one of them. Oh, he doesn't even like to be on camera, much less alive. Um, and then look at the little boot. There was a booty that had all of this on there um, in a picture that I saw, and this one has a little buckle. So, what, Nate, what did you say? Oh. Nate, that's funny. Hi, lovey. Feeling a little awkward. <laughs> but these were in great condition. And I just love these. I think that they need to get back to, um, to giving these when they do flowers. And the other one is a little train. Now, don't ask me what my current fixation thing is um, with trains because I don't know why I wanted to pick up every single train thing that I saw at Round Top. Um, so Miss Martha said she was a planter designer. So how about that deal? See, it's good to have friends. These are all my new friends. They didn't know it until today, but 
congratulations, y'all. You're my new friends. Um, but I just love these. So I got the train and the little shoe and then also the little um, bassinet. And they're all cute. They were $1.99. So I think that was a good price for them. And they're smaller. And let's see. I love planters. Yeah. I've got like three plants um, that I have kept alive for like two years. I'm not really sure how that happened, except I don't water them and I don't give them sunlight. So when I tend to care for them, they die. So uh, it says your great uncle, my mom says your great uncle worked for the railroad and he is watching. He is watching. Maybe that's what it is. All right. So I'm in Texas and I have shown one of these in a haul before. And Martha, we saw an amber or a red colored boot, some different colored boot, um, the glass mugged boot at the the place we shot, Round Top, today, uh, last weekend. But I already have one of these, and so now I have a pair, and it was only a dollar. But I love the little design in it. And, you know, in Texas, they're all about their boots. Um, they're all about fancy boots. And so I thought that this with the cactus, and then I have a, a cream and sugar that has Texas and the Longhorn and everything on there. Um, that that would be cute going together. I only have a few more things. And this one made me think of D. Why, y'all? Because it has a rooster on it. But um, it's a pottery. It's some type of pottery. And it says, made for Neiman Marcus, hand-painted in Italy. So Neiman Marcus and Italy, but a rooster. It's um, really cool. Oh, wow, Nate, you're able to keep all of that. You're able to keep, I cannot keep a fern alive to save my life. Um, her kid, Miss Norma Jean's kids from Tennessee are coming on Thursday and leaving on Monday. You're just going to have, then California's coming to visit. Oh my gosh, she'll be away from her sales for a while. This is a fancy rooster mug. It looks like somebody kept something in the bottom. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe they stirred in it. Can you put this in the microwave? It doesn't say microwave safe, but it's that pottery. Can y'all see that? Um, oh, no, we would never forget about you, Miss Norma Jean. But it only has the rooster on one side. No cracks or chips or anything in it. But I love this just very proud rooster. I must have been into a thing with the chickens and the roosters that day. But... Um, Let's see. No, mom, don't start cussing at nothing. That's that's not ladylike. The next thing that I got, I only got for 25 cents. And I got this because um, I thought it would be great in a display. Yeah, it may, Katie. It might crack under the heat of the microwave. So, you know, if it were me, I'd put a plant in it. Um, I've got a little angel, type of an angel fern, I think it is. And that's one of the things that was in my... Um, collaboration video for fall that Michelle and Aaron did. And I've had that thing for over a year. Hey, Kim with Oh My Vintage. That's another um, great channel to watch. She has some good things. But this is a Philadelphia glass. It's pretty heavy glass and it has the Liberty Bell on there. But it also is raised. It's almost like it has I want to say glitter because I just like glitter. But it's got a raised um, texture to it here but not the bell and not this blue part but it doesn't look like it has a whole lot if any uh dishwasher wear so i picked this glass up for 25 cents but i thought um this would be great in a display for like fourth of july or something like that all right let me check what we're you're getting into roosters, so you're going to have uranium and roosters, Christy. <laughs> um, oh, Kim, you're fine. I'm just glad that you could come. I only have two more things because I wanted to be mindful of the time. Plus, this was 
call number 10 of 14. So I'm working through them, y'all. I'm working through them. Um, the next thing that I got, I just like this for a planter. It's an enamel uh, mug and it's really, really big. Look, they use their head to measure stuff, but it has some beautiful flowers on there. It was only 99 cents. Now it does have a scuff mark down here, but to me, I think that just gives it charm. I mean, I've got lots of scars and I'm plenty charmful, <laughs> plenty full of charm. Um, but I loved the colors in this. Even with Christmas coming, I think that that wouldn't be bad, fall and Christmas, um, but all year. And I love the little blue rim on that. So it is great for farm decor as well. I agree with you, um, Katie. And it's a China piece. And I just watched the thing with George. Did you guys watch that premiere with him? He was walking around at the middle of the night uh, with um, where he was had a show and he was talking about the different types of enamel. It was, uh, he had done some shopping before the shopping in the middle of the night, but he was talking about the enamel pieces. And if they're heavy, that's where um, that you know that they're older because as the new modern pieces came by, they were much thinner. And so um, I, that's that in the mark because I really couldn't see the mark. But when I picked it up, I realized that it was thin and it made me think about something that George had said. Thank you, Christine, for reminding everyone to give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed, of course, we always ask that you subscribe. Again, if you have a YouTube channel, put it, link your channel in the comments below. If you have an upcoming event on Instagram or if you have an upcoming event on YouTube, y'all list, list it in the comments below because I love to share um, with everybody. Thanks, Mom, for sharing that. Kim, oh my, uh, at Oh My Vintage, Bella Rose is my mom. So this was the last piece that I got, and I picked it up. It was $4.99 with a blue tag, and it was 75% off, so good deal. It was new in package, and it looks like a little, I'm going to try to pull this apart so I can put it back together. But it looks to me like a little cheese ball or a dip bowl. Um, so it's very, very new. Sorry for all that noise, y'all. But it's an elf, and I rarely, I don't really find many things with elves. And yes, Mom, I know you love the elf. But look at his little cute face. And he has little feet. And, um, and it comes with this little spreader. So I thought that's probably like a dip or cheese, a cheese ball in there, I guess, would fit, right? Um, and then it comes with this little spreader on there. So I thought that was really cute. And so, you know, I tell y'all all the time we do Secret Santa at work. And so I thought I could use that um, for that. Oh, my flat buddy. Mom loves, my mom loves Elf. I really think that she, Elf is her and she is Elf. But she ordered a life-size flat cardboard cutout of Buddy the Elf. And y'all, we put that thing everywhere. We ride it around in her golf cart in the neighborhood. <laughs> back home in South Carolina, you know, they don't frown upon things like that, like they do in this um, place in Sugar Land. But we put it in the window and it just stares at people in the window. We've taken pictures with it. People come over to take pictures with Flat Buddy. It is a scream. Um, so yeah, Katie, I think that this is probably for a cheese ball or something like that. Um, but I really thought it was cute. Hi, Christina. Thanks for coming. I know that you were at work, so thanks for coming. But I loved all of that. So what do you think is your favorite? I'm eager to do my chicken. I think the chicken's my favorite or the rooster. It's, it's a rooster. But I'm going to paint this up. And I am going to do a video this week um, of some painting. Um, and I'll see what I do with my three trays. And I thought that was a really good deal. All three of these, y'all? for like six bucks. These were really good. Um, so Nate and I have decided that we're painting those. So we will be painting um, those up. But what do you think is your favorite? My mom likes the Gamecock. Um, Martha likes the rooster too. Now I got me a rooster mug 
and I got me the big old honking rooster over there. But like I was saying, I'm going to be painting some stuff um, and videoing that to spotlight my paint. I use two different brands of paint and Christine and I actually realized that we had similar interests, not just in thrifting and vintage and collectibles, but also we watched Jamie Ray vintage and y'all, she, she's got a great channel. She and her husband Zeb can do anything. They literally just built a house. Um, so I think that the rooster is probably my favorite. Um, and so I just want to say thanks so much for watching with me today. Uh, we were only on about 30 minutes, which is fine. Oh, it's Ray. No, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie Ray. Zeb is her husband, right, Christine? Make sure I'm saying that right. And they can. They literally just built a house. Um, Nate, you like the rooster too, and you want to see it when I polish him up. Well, I am. I'm going to paint him white and then distress him. And I think he'll be even more dapper than he is now. So again, y'all, thanks so much for hanging in with me. Uh, Christine is a lifesaver. She got me on at the very last minute. Now I know how to do all of this. And so Martha, and we have to get Tammy, want to do a live haul. Hopefully it'll be in the next week or so if we can coordinate with that. Um, and I would love for you guys to see all the things that we got on there. So I'm going to go ahead and end the live now. Thank you, everybody, for coming. And as I always say, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye, y'all. Thanks for coming.